Mario music is so cool. What's up everybody, I'm Jan and today we'll be talking about Super Mario chords. Like most composers, Koji Kondo has a tendency to use certain stylistic devices. I mean, of course he had to adapt his compositions to the circumstances of the game scene. But I think there are certain elements that make up that typical classic Mario sound. So today we're focusing on chords and harmonics that were used by Kondo in the late 80s and early 90s. Sorry Super Mario Galaxy soundtrack, we love you anyway. So what kinds of harmonic progressions and chords does a composer use when they want to write music that sounds like Mario music? So there's no time to explain all the different subtleties of Koji Kondo's writing style, but here are three different ways he harmonizes his music that sound very... Mario-like. Approaching diatonic chords with diminished chords. This kind of harmonic function is technically known as a secondary leading tone chord. More on that in this video. Secondary leading tone. Okay, so what does this technical jargon mean exactly? If a composer wants to make their upbeat music more lively and Mario-like, they can put a diminished chord in front of a major or minor chord. This means instead of using your regular old 1, 4, 5, 1, a composer might want to use something akin to this. Creating a sort of mini cadence for each chord. This technique is similar to using passing diminished chords, where you connect two regular adjacent chords with a diminished chord in between. When you write music using this technique, it positively sounds like Super Mario music. The flat 6, flat 7, 1 cadence. This is when you take the 6 and 7 chords from a minor scale and use them in a the major scale. Mario music is so famous for this specific cadence that it's even named after it nowadays. It's also known as the Billy Shears Cadence, since it's so prominently featured right at the beginning of the Beatles song with a little help from her friends. It's also in the Final Fantasy Victory theme, for example. And of course, it's also in the original Super Mario Bros. level music. The flat 6, flat 7, 1 gives it that triumphant, upward-moving sound. Common jazz progressions. Well, I'm not here to tell you about jazz chords. That is Adam Neely's job. But Koji Kondo is very much influenced by jazz, like many Japanese game composers from around this time. So it's no surprise that you will find a lot of common harmonic jazz practices in his music. For example, the 2-5-1 progression and tritone substitutions are Jazz Harmony 101 staples that you will also find in a lot of early Mario music. So if you want to write some Super Mario sounding music, spice it up with a little jazz. In addition, you write a catchy melody with a lot of chromatic steps. A drum beat that just slaps. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. Cool. <laughs> so, if you like the music in this video, I make my own music, and you can check it out on Spotify and Apple Music and all those cool, awesome streaming services. <laughs> I'm also on Bandcamp. So yeah, if you would like to check that out, um, give it a go. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.